Hi, and thanks for coming to my channel. I'm your Everyday Joe. In today's recipe, I'm gonna be making my version of Mongolian beef and broccoli. So stay tuned. If you wanna show support to this channel, be sure to click the subscribe button. And to stay up to date on new content, when we release it, ring the notification bell. Now let's get into the video. I'm gonna be using a half a pound a thinly cut flank steak, one quarter cup of broccoli, one quarter cup of jasmine rice steamed, one teaspoon of sesame oil, one teaspoon of minced ginger, one quarter cup of teriyaki sauce, one quarter cup of soy sauce, also a quarter cup of honey, two tablespoons of cornstarch, two tablespoons of green onion, one tablespoon of sesame seeds, one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of garlic powder, some salt and pepper to taste. All right, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the warm water and we're gonna melt in these uh, two tablespoons of cornstarch because that, that's what's gonna help thicken, uh, thicken the sauce up. So we wanna make sure we dissolve all that into the water. Okay, make sure we work out all the lumps. Okay, should be pretty quick. All right, so I've got the meat already sliced up uh, into strips and in my bowl here. So we're going to take cornstarch, put that in there. Okay, little little salt and pepper in here. Okay, not not too much salt because we're going to be using some soy sauce too. So some garlic powder. Now you can use raw garlic. At this point, I only had this available for for this recipe, so we're going to use that. Some sesame oil, you know, put that in there. Now you don't need a lot of that, that's very potent, so be light on that. Some minced ginger, some fresh minced ginger that I used up, okay. Put the soy sauce in there. And the teriyaki sauce. Now I'm mixing it all together here because it's gonna make a sauce, but I'm gonna let it marinate in this for a little while. So about a quarter, quarter cup of honey. And we're gonna get in here and just work it through. And you can see the sauce, it's already getting dark. It's getting brown. Okay, so we're gonna let this sit for about you know, 10, 15 minutes. I mean, you can let it sit overnight if you like. Uh, the steak isn't all that thick, so it's pretty thin sliced. So it's gonna absorb it pretty quickly. You're not gonna need to fuss with it too much. Okay, so we're gonna let this sit. I'm gonna let this sit for about 10 or 15 minutes. Then I'm gonna take the steak out and put it in a pan and we're gonna cook that in the power air fry oven. Now normally you, you could cook that on the stove top and then make all the sauce and do it the long way. We're gonna, we're gonna do it the short way here. This is how we do things here at Your Everyday Joe. So I'm gonna take the steak, put it into a pan, a baking dish, Throw that into the power air fry oven and cook it for about five or ten minutes till it starts to brown up and then we'll we'll get back and i'll show you what it looks like before it goes into the power air fry oven all right now this beef has been marinated for about 10 15 minutes or so i added the uh the green onions in here also uh, as you can see so uh it smells it smells great so we're just going to take the the beef and just you want to just lay it lay it across in a pan, this is a, I believe this is a, a nine inch uh, diameter pan, cake pan. Okay. So this is gonna cook and also thicken the sauce when it cooks. Okay. Get that all in there. Okay. And what I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna take the broccoli and we're going to put the broccoli in here also so it's going to help steam the broccoli while it's sitting in there and it's going to pick up all that flavor from uh from the beef and the uh, uh and the sauce so and i'm going to pour this the remainder of this marinade sauce over the top it's going to again help thicken everything up and flavor it So. 
and that cornstarch that was in there, that's gonna, that's gonna thicken, thicken up that sauce when it's done. Okay, so I wanna push all the broccoli in, make sure the steak, beef is all submerged. I'm gonna get this into the power air fry oven for about 10 minutes. It's not gonna take all that long. I'm gonna, I'm gonna run it up high at 400. Normally you do this on your stove top at high heat. Stir fry is usually a high heat uh, cooking anyway. So I'm gonna try to mimic that in the power air fry oven. So I'm gonna put this in the power air fry oven, 400 degrees for about 10 minutes. When it comes out, I'll show you what it looks like. All right, it's been about 10 minutes. I just took it out of the power air fry oven. Uh, you can see it actually thickened up the sauce pretty good. Uh, you can smell it, it smells, it smells real good. And uh, uh, the steak, I mean, it's, it's not as thick as I, I would hope, but it's gonna work for this purpose here. It actually made, made a good sauce for it. Uh, I didn't think it was gonna thicken up, but power air fry oven came through again. So we're just gonna plate this up. I've got some jasmine rice that's only been steamed and, and, uh, uh, and cooled a little bit. Put a scoop of that on the dish. So we're gonna add our beef and broccoli to, to the top here. We're gonna make it look all nice and stuff. So, so let's add a little bit more here. Gonna pile that up. Okay, get some more of these broccoli spears in here. Okay. And what I'm gonna do here is also, I'm gonna take some of this sauce. This sauce looks fantastic. It's made a nice gravy type sauce. So I'm gonna just spoon some of that over the top. Okay. Take a little bit more here. Okay. All right, we're gonna add some of these toasted sesame seeds to the top, just for looks and a little flavor. All right, and some green onions. Okay, you're gonna make that again for looks and a little bit of flavor, onion flavor. Okay. Okay. All right, so there you have it. The Mongolian beef and broccoli. So we're gonna give it a taste and see what this is like. All right, I'm gonna take it from here. So I just wanna take a piece of this meat here. Mm. Oh, that's good. That, it's got a nice flavor. The sauce came out really good and thick. You, know, you can taste the seasoning in there, the soy sauce, the teriyaki all comes out, a little bit of the ginger and the garlic. And you can taste it all in there. It's, it's very, very good, very unique. Uh, again, I didn't think uh, the power air fry oven would make the sauce the way it did, but there you go. It's uh, 10 minutes at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, all I did was about five, six minutes through, gave it a, a, a stir so the, the sauce mixed in and thickened up evenly. Uh, and that's it. I mean, that, that's pretty much it. It's a quick meal, another quick meal for you. If you like this video, uh, you, you like what we do here, give us some likes, go ahead and share the video. Also subscribe if you haven't. You can click on the globe here and leave us some comments. Let us know some suggestions, what, how you make your Mongolian, if you, if you do something different with it, uh, or if you do it in your power of oven. I'd really like to hear those stories. Uh, thanks for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one.